I'm backstage with Ari Zolda of today, the wonderful Deborah Voigt. Debbie, how are you feeling? Um, two down, one to go. <laughs> it's a very long song. Do you need to catch your breath a little bit? Yeah, I could use it, actually, yes. A little <laughs> well, water. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. But, mm. you know, you're known for singing all the great Wagnerian roles, and but you've kept us waiting with Isolde. Why the wait? Well, the first time I did the part, it was a little sooner than I thought I would take her on, and I thought it would be better to not accept any more until I'd done that run. So by the time we finished that run, it took that many years for us to get all of the pieces together, Maestro Levine and, of course, Mr. Hefner and, and myself. It takes a lot of scheduling to make something like this it happen, does. doesn't it? It does. It happens far in advance, doesn't mm -hmm. it? It does. So on a day like this, you've got a marathon opera. And so how do you prepare? How do you pace yourself? First of all, what time did you get up this morning for this matinee? I got up, I woke up at 4.30. I thought, oh. no, that's too early. <laughs> so I got out of bed at about 6.30, um, did a little bit of uh, calisthenic work to get my heart going, um, had a good breakfast, and I was here by 9 o'clock, about the time you were here, <laughs> warming up my voice. And uh, yeah, it takes a long time. It's, it's, it uh, takes a while to get those engines revved up for a thing like this, doesn't absolutely, it? Absolutely, absolutely. Now, how does it feel to sing Isolde compared with some of your other parts of, in Wagner? Well, she's so much longer. Um, mm. I really miss the days when you and I would do Ariadne up Naxos together and have a much shorter evening. I mean, you know when Ariadne is a short night for you that you are in uh, the dramatic land of Wagner. Exactly. Okay, well now, Robert is your fourth Tristan in four performances. Mm. How does it feel to sing with a different leading man every performance? Well, it's um, certainly surreal. I'm never quite sure who I'm going to run into when I <laughs> walk out on the stage I'm thus sure. far. But each one of them has brought something unique to the performance, and it's been really interesting. Have you had rehearsal time with each of them? I have not, in fact, had rehearsal time with any of them, to be honest. So you walk out on stage, and it's kind of fly by the seat of your pants? Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Good thing we have a nice rapport with one another. Uh, Bob and I just sang together with uh, Lyric Opera of Chicago, so at least we knew each other. Uh, Mr. Lehman and I barely knew one another, so that makes so for they, some interesting love scenes. <laughs> they point you in the direction and say, that's the one you're in yeah, love right, with. Right, 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 exactly. <laughs> Try to kiss the right one. <laughs> well, this opera is so grueling vocally. Um, does it present any particular acting challenges? Well, she's so angry and so bitter that it's very difficult to play that without letting it come out in your throat all night. You have to be very careful about pacing the part and not letting the anger get the best of you vocally. Because she starts out in kind of a bad mood, doesn't she? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. And it doesn't get much better, actually, till they take the love potion. Do you find that, that in the beginning you're thinking, this is a long song, and then do you, do you have to sort of gradually step on the gas as, it, as the opera keeps going or do you just have an even pace all the way through? No, you sort of finish one scene and I think, oh, that went really well. I'm really glad that one's done. And then you think, oh my gosh, <laughs> but guess what's coming up next? So you really have to pace it is really the best, absolutely the best word. And good shoes, as Miss Birgit Nilsson said. <laughs> good shoes and strong quadriceps, I think she said was important yeah, well, for it. I'm working on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Debbie, thank you. We'll give you your intermission break okay. now. Thank you so much for talking to You're us. You're welcome. Thanks. Bye-bye. And now we're going to visit our brand